Now, obviously, Kong is going to be a hugely popular drum machine due to the fact it's got a great triggering system. It's got 16 large pads that can be easily assigned to any drum sound within the system and played back using any MIDI controller. But without knowing what's going on underneath the hood and how Kong really creates its sound, we could end up just scrolling through presets and using stock samples. This isn't ideal, and to get the most out of Kong, we really need to understand how to make our own sounds. So this is what we're going to look at first in the next series of videos. So, first of all, let's start by clicking on the Show Drum and Effects button and looking at this section. This is where our sound generators reside, and this is what we're going to be concentrating on. By clicking on this small button here, we can see a drop-down menu appears. These are the sound generators, and there's a good choice. We've got a nano sampler, which is a small version of the NNXT. We've got a Nurse Rex loop player, which is a small version of the Dr. Rex and allows us to play slices from loops. And then we've got our physical and synthetic drum generators. The physical generators are great for creating real drum sounds, like real bass drums, for instance. Real toms. Now the synthetic drum modules are obviously more electronic in nature and they hark back to classic drum machines like the 808 and the 909 from Roland. And these machines actually use this form of synthesis to create their sounds mixed with samples. These are purely synthesis modules and it means it gives us a great amount of control over the final sound. We can alter pretty much every parameter really fine-tune the final drum sound. 